In the wake of growing Chinese belligerence, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga decides to have the biggest defense budget ever. Under Japanese PM Yoshihide Suga, the Defense Ministry has sought a budget of over 5.4 trillion yen or 51.6 billion US dollars as per government sources for 2021. This increase of defense budget for the ninth consecutive time is happening in the face of ever-growing Chinese belligerence, which analysts are calling to be the new wolf warrior diplomacy. Beijing is asserting its dominance, claiming territory be it land or sea all over its southern and eastern borders. One of these theatres of conflict with Japan is the East China Sea and the contested Senkaku Islands. Couple that with the threats emanating from new technologies, be it missiles, cyber security and cognitive warfare, and we have a solid case for military modernization which is also keeping in line with the Abe San's policy of proactive peace. The budget request will be made by the end of September that will be inclusive of funding for a specialized electronic warfare unit as part of efforts initiated under Abe to strengthen capabilities in new spheres, including cyberspace and outer space in a veiled counter to China and Russia as reported in the Japan Times. And as was declared a couple of months earlier that Japan will be developing its domestic fifth-generation fighters. Thus, the ministry will also fund the development of new jet engines that will power these next-generation fighters which are expected to be deployed by 2035. It also showcases the intentions of the new prime minister to continue with the efforts made by his predecessor to bolster Japan's defense and diplomatic strategy. The news regarding the request for a hike in the budget makes more sense in the face of latest comments by the defense minister Nobuo Kishi developing the capability to strike enemy bases in response to impending missile launch is necessary to protect our nation. This statement directly answers concerns regarding the North Korean missile program as Tokyo is looking for a possible alternative to the suspended Aegis Ashore anti-missile system. The current security concerns are catalyzed by the unpredictability of the world geopolitical situation and the fragility of domestic situations in many of the countries due to the pandemic and the following economic repercussions. These internal situations, coupled with the possibility of cognitive warfare by the neighbors, force the countries to turn inward and thus escalating the problems manifold. The East China Sea issue has been only escalating since the activity of the PLA has increased in the exclusive economic zones mutually claimed by both Japan and China. The Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi, when asked about the recent incursions of Chinese vessels into Japanese claimed territories, said these incidents were extremely regrettable. Stephen Nagy, a senior associate professor at International Christian University in Tokyo, said the Defense Ministry's request for another modest increase in defense spending reflects the changing understanding of the security challenges Japan is facing and the tools it wishes to acquire to mitigate these challenges. This statement is in line with the above analysis. Kishi-san was also very hopeful about improving the relations with South Korea and stressed on the importance of regular conduct of communication through established channels with South Korea adding that I want to make arrangements as soon as possible for a three-way meeting of defense ministers from Japan, South Korea and the US. The current rise in the defense budget is historic in a way that it seeks for the highest amount till now, but in reality, this is the ninth consecutive increase in the budget and it is in line with the Japanese defense white paper which gave importance to the North Korean missile program Chinese adventurism in the East and South China Sea, as well as the importance of the need for a proactive role by Japan in the Indo-Pacific region to preserve peace and open sea lines of trade and commerce. With this, Suga is turning out to be a greater headache for China than Shinzo Abe ever was.